The utility screen provides access to many setup, diagnostic and user preference functions. They are grouped into pages according to function type. Some of these functions may not be available if the current user profile has functions deactivated. The utility front page is arranged with four main pages, accessible by touching the big buttons in the centre of the screen. The top part of the screen changes according to page selected. The lower part presents the same set of buttons in all pages. These are the main operational utility functions. Lock surface disables the surface controls to prevent uninvited operation while the console is left unattended, for example during the intermission, after sound check or before the show. A pop-up appears to confirm that you want to do this. If a password has been set for the current user, then the touch keyboard appears prompting password entry. To unlock the surface, touch the unlock surface button in the middle of the screen. If a password is set, you are prompted to enter it or log in as a different user. Change user opens the user login page. Select the username and enter the correct password if one has been set. If a startup scene has been set, it will be recalled when the user is changed. In this case, make sure the current settings have been saved as another scene before changing user. Help manual opens the on-screen help file. This presents a condensed user guide and reference information. It includes the release notes associated with the current version of firmware. Power down powers down the touchscreen computer before turning the system off. A pop-up appears for you to confirm the action and gives you the option to restart the onboard touchscreen computer instead. The configuration page provides access to the memory management, time setup and MIDI settings. You can view and change the current day and clock settings for the mix rack, surface and touchscreen. Edit user profiles allows viewing, editing and activating the settings and permissions for the H user profiles. Library Manager allows managing the user libraries. MIDI sets the MIDI channel number and accesses the MMC control. Show Manager opens the Show Memories utility page and USB Scene Transfer allows importing scenes from within a show on a USB key. The Diagnostics page provides status and diagnostic information. You can view the event log for the mix rack, surface and touchscreen here. These logs contain key events such as power, boot and memory activity, as well as systems error if they occur. They provide a useful aid in diagnosing the system in the event of a problem. If a yellow triangle warning appears in the lower toolbar of any screen, or a red cross appears in the status screen while using the system, then go to the event logs to view the error. Once viewed, the yellow triangle or red cross will disappear. If you need assistance with the error, you can plug in a USB key and use the Store to USB button at the top of the screen to transfer the logs to a PC to email them to our tech support team. The screen calibration routine lets you calibrate the touchscreen. A timeout pop-up box lets you confirm the calibration. If your calibration is incorrect, you can wait for the screen to time out and then repeat the procedure. Temperature display displays the current temperature measured at several points within the surface, mix rack and power supplies. The firmware page lets you check the current system firmware version for the touchscreen, surface and mix rack and load in new firmware using a USB key. These should all be the same version. If not, the system could fail to connect and prompt you to view and update its firmware during the boot up process. The network page lets you view and change the system unit names and network settings. Network connections displays the names, network addresses and connection status of the devices currently connected via Ethernet to the onboard touchscreen computer. You can change which mix rack to connect to here. The touchscreen remembers the last mix rack it connected to. If you are connecting the surface to a different mix rack, it will look for the original rack and not find it. It will come up with the connection failed screen. Simply open the network connection screen, touch change mix rack and select the new rack from the list displayed. Network setup lets you view and edit the names and network settings of the three devices on the network. The touchscreen, surface and mix rack. The iLive default network settings are for static IP addresses. DHCP is only needed if you are connecting to a network that automatically provides IP addresses using a DHCP server. The IP addresses and unit names can be changed, for example, if you are connecting two or more iLive systems on the same network, each iLive surface, touchscreen and mix rack must have a compatible but unique IP address. 
If you are using the dual rack function to connect two mix racks to one surface, then make sure each rack is identified with a unique name and IP address. Use the multicast setup screen to enable multicast. If you are running editor on a wireless laptop where signal strength is low or interference a problem, you may notice the surface meters freeze regularly too. This is because the mix rack sends meter data separately to both editor and the surface and waits for a response from each that it is received. If editor is slow responding, it also affects the meter display and control at the surface. Multicast is a network technology for one too many addressing that does not wait for a response that it has been received. It affects the way meter data is transmitted over the iLive network and can speed up the performance of the surface in situations where editor wireless reception is poor. The expander setup screen and dual rack setup screen let you inspect, add and remove XDR expanders or slave mix racks. Dedicated videos will explain these steps in detail.